Hello, world. We are running through episode five here on the basic introduction to basically cleaning out your computer. Now, some of you may be wondering why we called it Hello World. Hello World is kind of a geeky term for beginner programming and beginner basically anything. When you first write your program, it's always display Hello World, Hello World to the screen. I know most of you could probably care less. So, so far we've ran through quite a few things here. We're going to talk about SpyBot first of all today. And uh, actually, that's pretty much all we're going to talk about today. Um, if you've been with me on the previous episodes, and uh, if you're on my website here, PCMichiana.com, you will know that we have already ran through uh, modifying your Windows startup. We've already ran through uh, uninstalling NOD or McAfee or whatever antivirus you may already have and installing uh, AVG Free. Then I taught you how to use AVG Free a little better. And then uh, just recently we went through uh, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Great pieces of software. Now we're going to move forward again. We're going to do SpyBot Search and Destroy. Most of you have already worked with SpyBot. Awesome product. But there's one specific part of SpyBot that drives me absolutely insane, and that would be the T-Timer. Now it's that one that you get little notifications in the bottom right-hand corner that constantly ask you if you want registry changes drives me up the wall. I hate installing that part of it. So let me go ahead and run on my website, www.pcmichigan.com. Scroll down to the bottom right-hand corner. I have the free maintenance software section right here. Go ahead and click SpyBot Search and Destroy. It'll take you to download.com. Click Download Now, and that will bring up your uh, automatic download, which you will click Save when it comes up. And so let that go ahead and download here. And uh, once it's completed, I'm going to run you real quick through running this installation without the T timer. Now, the T timer, like I said, drives me up the wall. Some of you might like it. It does do advanced registry protection, which is kind of nice, but it's just way too analytical, even for me. And I'm a geek, so I can only imagine that most of you people out there do not like it. So now that I have that downloaded, I'm running it. Select English, of course, if that's your language. Next, accept the agreement. Of course, you need to legally read the agreement before you accept it. I'm sure all of you do that. Uh, you know, same directory. It's telling me it already exists because I used to have it on here. I'll just click yes. Uh, keep all the defaults. No, no sense in changing them. You can remove the secure shredder and uh, the skins and additional languages if you want. I mean, those aren't a big deal. And I always have it download the updates on immediately. Uh, next, next, and here it is. Here it is. This little tea timer. Now you can you can on a, you can disable this when you're actually already have the program installed in the preferences. I'll show you that in a little bit. But I just disable it on the installation. So let me go ahead and uh, SD Helper is good. That's for your Internet Explorer. And I don't like to create click quick launch icons. So just click next again. Click next again. Now it's going to go online and download, since I selected the download item, it's going to download all the updates for the um, for the software before I actually run the installation. And now it's actually going to run the installation for me. So while that does that, we're going to go ahead and close this out. All right, finishing. Okay, we want to run it. That's going to run you through this first installation wizard. So give it a second to start up. A lot of these pieces of software, especially SpyBot, actually takes a little while to boot up. But now, as you can see, when I install these, I don't like things running in the background. And that's why I didn't install the T-Timer down here. So now SpyBot's not going to intrude on any of my processing power unless I'm scanning while it's open. So see how I have all my maintenance software? I make it so that when it, I, it only runs when I decide to run it. And it's good to have that because otherwise, even your maintenance software, if you get enough of it, it'll bog you down if you let it do all of those real-time scanning in the background, and it'll chew up your processing power. Okay, there, finally. Um, don't, me don't bother with that message. Don't worry about that. Okay, create registry backup. Important. Always do that step. Oh, the not responding, that's a tricky thing too. See, it's done. Not responding doesn't always mean not responding, by the way, in Windows. So next I'm going to search for updates. Just let it sit there, and sometimes the not responding will just drop away, you know, if it hasn't had enough time. I'm doing the updates again just to make sure I got them all. See, it didn't download them all. 
Tea timer update, I don't need it because I'm not going to use it. Advanced detection and immunization, you do want. Oh, by the way, I really quick, I selected a download site. Not that big of a deal. Uh, just pick whichever location is closest to you, like usually just the United States. Okay, now that I've done my updates, I'm going to exit. It's going to restart itself. And I hope I don't break my 10 minutes here because uh, I'm going to have to go pretty quick now. Uh, there's not a whole lot left, so. Spybot's totally worth this weight, by the way. This is this is one of the most powerful anti-spywares out on the market. It finds a lot of them that even malware bites and AVG free aren't going to find. Once again, why I'm telling you to diversify your uh, scanning and your antivirus uh, capabilities. Nice thing about Spybot is it searches for known ones, so it it doesn't do a similar file search as the other scanners do. It takes a whole collection of known spyware and adware and runs it through your machine to make sure those ones don't already exist on your computer. It's going to run you through this legal stuff again because I just did an update. And notice how you get these really weird boxes. I think Spybot's really, they do a bad job with these interfaces. See, this is supposed to be a load bar here. And now this legal stuff thing is giving me just a white box. This happens a lot with Spybot, but it doesn't make it bad software. It's just their interfacing isn't always up to par, I guess is the best way to put it. See, again, we got the not responding here. It's actually responding. It's loading. So sometimes when Windows says it's not responding, still give us some time, and, and it will. Maybe it was a bad idea. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Click OK. And then now that we've basically done all the updates, you go straight to Immunize. Immunize will block known spyware on your computer. It's going to detect everything on all of your user accounts and in for uh, Mozilla Firefox and for Internet Explorer. And it'll tell you what's unprotected and what needs for what's already protected. See, I have a bunch of them already protected. So I'm not going to immunize just for the sake of time. But uh, once you've done that, just click Immunize right here. Then once that's, do that's done, just click Check Again. And again, usually you'll do an update before you do that, but we already did the updates. Now, after you've done that, do a search and destroy, check for problems. Almost 90% of the time, um, see, we've located 566 temporary files. I let, go ahead and let it clean your temporary files. I always do. Uh, once you've uh, basically ran through this entire scan, 90% of the time, Spyro actually makes you restart to clean everything out. Just let it restart it. And sometimes it'll do a full scan on reboot. Just go ahead and let it redo your full scan on reboot. I know it takes a lot of time. I know it's tedious, but it's the only way to make sure. These programs make you restart because a lot of it's running in your memory in the background, and they literally can't uninstall it or disable it until you reboot the computer and it gets a chance to. Now, one other thing I'm going to show you real quick is there's something on this called advanced mode. And uh, for those of you who are, you know, faint of heart when it comes to technology, I don't think I would mess with advanced mode if I were you. Uh, but uh, under advanced mode, if you click that under mode, advanced mode, and it's going to warn you, just say yes. You have something called tools. And I kind of like this down here. They have this. Um, uh, it's basically called a system internals for registry inconsistencies. But I wouldn't worry about this right now, actually, because what it'll let you it'll let you scan your registry for errors, your Windows registry, and it'll also let you fix those. And ninety percent of the times, fixing it's deleting it. But don't don't really worry about that. That's more for advanced users. And there's a better way to clean your registry. I'm going to talk to you about in the next episode, well, or the episode after that. It really depends. That's pretty much it. That's all you need to know about Spybot. I hope I didn't break my ten minute mark too much, and I hope you learned something today. Stay tuned.